Welcome to Spiritual Dessert Truths for Russell Brand and other people. Tonight I am coming from my godson's game. <laughs> At Villanova. He's all grown. <laughs> He's playing football for Villanova University. Amazing. <laughs> I have drawn, I've done a drawing of Alex Alessandro <laughs> Padamani and his sister, Christina. They're twins since they were born. And I've been there for their baptism, their birth <laughs> every year. Um, it's just amazing. They've blossomed. And tonight, tickets to see <laughs> his football game. <laughs> he played awesome. I just can't believe it. In the meantime, a new word for you. Orenda is a mystical force present in all people and empowers them to affect the world or to affect change in their own lives. <laughs> Orenda. <laughs> a new powerful word. So choose your words wisely. Use your orenda. <laughs> so I think today's is just going to be about the fun and the joy of watching somebody blossom, go to college, go away, join the ranks of adult people. Uh, don't grow up. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> Make sure you stay free <laughs> in your mind, in your happiness. Don't become a part of the matrix. <laughs> and if you find that you are, you might want to disconnect in some ways, in your own special way. There is no winning or losing. That's another thing I want to bring up. Basically, we're just here to experience. And whatever you wish to experience is what comes. <laughs> if you, depending on what you bring in, what, what's, what you're harmonizing at, what your vibrational frequency is, as you vibrate, you draw in exactly the same frequency that you are experiencing. So if you're like on top of the world, like there are these kids, like whether you win or lose, kids don't care. They're bouncing up and down like they won. And they did, and they were having so much fun. So, and the other thing I taught everybody is that 20 second hugs matter. Love matters. The fact that we're all there enjoying each other's company, that matters. We're there to support and love and treasure, that matters. It doesn't matter whether you win or lose. People get so geared towards it, but think about it. Love is all that matters. 20 second hugs. It stimulates melatonin production in the brain. <laughs> and so you feel happy. Happiness, ah, oh, you can spread it. It's wonderfully contagious. You can smile, you can hug people, you can hug strangers and then their friends. We're all one. We are all one soul. You can hug anybody because why? <laughs> They're God too. And chances are, if you're deciding to hug them, it's because they really need a hug. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> I have a show planned. It's going to be the next show. I'm running out of days. I'm One of these, okay, I'm going to just bring this up quickly because I might not, I don't know when this show is going to air. There's so many file up now. 2.3 billion souls are to experience a frequency shift, a wave X on September 28th. That's coming so soon. Right now, technically speaking, we're on Thursday. I'm taping this from the 24th. Tomorrow's the 25th. I might have to bump this show up <laughs> and just air this one <laughs> instead and then catch up later maybe. I don't know. Ha Strategic planning of shows. I have to tape them when I'm like ready to go and presentable. Half the time, eh, I'm in my own world. And when I'm in my own world, I don't even wear clothes. I don't feel like it. And if I don't feel like wearing clothes, I don't. <laughs> so I'm not a part of the matrix. There's a lot of ways I'm not a part of the matrix. Anyway, I'm heaven sent. <laughs> I'm here to serve. <laughs> I am, what was it? What? Rusty, you said it! I am <laughs> the people's narcissist. <laughs> I love me. <laughs> and I love all of you. <laughs> Tremendously. And recognize that we are all God's soul. <laughs> In these human costumes. And so we were really just brought here. 
the whole experience of 3D is that your mind brought you here in a holographic form from the frequency, from the vibration, from the experiences you wished and chose carefully to experience. <laughs> so honor everything you chose, even if it's just crazy, rotten things that happen. You're like, why? <laughs> you wanted to experience it. And so why should you deny yourself? You're actually in heaven in 5D, so, or beyond, many dimensions beyond. Why be concerned with your 3D experience? It's like, go back to watch The Matrix. You're not really there. You think you're there. <laughs> so maybe that'll get you back to being on track. You're really in heaven. Someone said, well, where are you now? Where are you from? In heaven. <laughs> I send my spirit to all places. Tonight, I sent my spirit to Worthing Theater for the last of the three shows of True World Order for the warm-up. And I was also in California. <laughs> and I was definitely, even with the avatar, at this game tonight. Then tomorrow night, I have family coming in and friends coming in. We have the Pope coming in to Philadelphia. And that's another thing. It's saying that the Philadelphia is in Revelations and it was carefully chosen because it's a, a holy place, city of brotherly love, with Quakers. So I guess the Pope sees it as a very safe place to be for the 26th and 27th. Right now he's in DC in transit to New York. <laughs> and then tomorrow night all the bridges close down. So that's going to be an interesting thing, sort of like a big gridlock. No one can move in Philadelphia, except for us, who will be painful fast, <laughs> who will be on trains headed to the city of brotherly love. It's Quaker. Philadelphia is known for being Quaker town. So, anyway, love you, pleasant dreams. <laughs> I might bump this up and this might be tonight's show. <laughs> hmm. Love you so much. Mm, so proud. So proud of both of you, all of you, and sending all of my love. Mm -hmm. <laughs>